Welcome back to What Art You Nibs with General Disturbance. And the subject of our battle today is Captain Ash Storm, and he's in the CGC, uh, the Conqueror Gun Carriage, otherwise known as the Orbital Laser Cannon to those people who received the shells. Um, and we're on the uh, east spawn of El Halouf. And battle is underway. Now, some of you may know that Captain Ashstorm is one of the moderators of What RT Noobs. So he's a very experienced RT player. Very much enjoys uh, this game. And like Zoe in a previous battle, Captain Ashstorm is climbing to the top of the rock face. He's a mountain goat. And here's a good firing position up here that does allow him to cover quite a large area of the battlefield from unusual angles. And he's set up and ready to go. Okay, he's looking for his first victim. And he can see a Bat Chat 25T, a dangerous light, uh, medium tank. And there's some heavies going up the heavy route. To the northeast corner, northwest corner. Okay, fires a shot in, but it only stuns uh, the opponents. Okay, he is relocating, but just pulling forward a little. Now he's fairly safe there because uh, it's very unlikely the enemy would see him. Not unless they're in the centre of the uh, village. He's still got a little while to reload. He's just adjusting his position, centering his reticule to make sure that uh, he doesn't get reticule bloom. The great thing about the CGC is it's got a very wide arc of fire. He's ready to fire. He's lined up at IS-7. Puts the reticule on it. Rounds out. A splash hit for 392 hit points. It did move after he fired. And it is a long flight time from the other side of the uh, valley. It's a four second flight time. Which does give these vehicles some ability to get out of the way. Of course they don't know that they're driving out the way. The one thing that people need to learn about artillery players. They need to uh, uh, anticipate where the enemy will be when their shell arrives. There's a nice gaggle of tanks there in that corner. Okay, he's selected a Wizzy 111. Round goes out. Oh, and he's managed to do a, quite a bit of damage there. He damaged uh, an Object 907 and a Wizzy 111 in one shot. He did 233 on the Object 907 and 372 on the Wizzy 111. And he stunned most of the enemy tanks. So he's been of great assistance to the tanks that are defending that pass. And he's almost reloaded. He's selecting his next victim, which is probably going to be that big mouse. Or the IS-7. Lines up the shot. Rounds out. And they just pull back, but he stuns all of them. And he does some splash damage to the IS-7. So again, he has been of assistance to his team. Of course, the mouse on Captain Ash Storm's team is also trying to get up that rise. And he's now looking at that T110E5, which is defending that um, rise. But I think he selected the other side, the Object 907 and the mouse on there. Because they're fairly stationary targets. Should make sure a hit is uh, almost guaranteed. Rounds out. Ah, oh, they just pull back a little, but he does get hits. He does 201 damage to the mouse and 96 damage to the 907. But this IS-7's come down and destroyed the mouse and been destroyed in return by the Type 5 Heavy. And the IS-7's gone down. The enemy tanks are falling, but unfortunately the, the tanks on Captain Ashstorm's team are dying quicker. There's a differential of two tanks at the moment. Now he needs to try and even that up by helping his tanks by taking out the tanks at that pass. He's ready, he fires. Rounds going in and that's a big hit. It's a big hit. He managed to hit the mouse, the IS-7 and destroyed the IS-7.
and of course a massive stun on those tanks which means that they will be very reluctant to poke their heads around the corner so it gives some relief to the defenders on that pass. And so a lot of tank drivers don't understand that artillery players are there to help them win the game by damaging the enemies that they have to face. Okay, he's lined up, he's ready to fire. Rounds out. The mouse is moving into the shot and a direct hit on the mouse. 471 hit points, two critical hits. And he stuns the other tanks. That's a great assist. And so the T110E5 has gone down. So he only has to worry about this Death Star. Which is turning around to engage those tanks in that corner. But the mouse is very badly damaged. Which means it's a great help to his team. Now his team's three up. And the mouse has gone down. So they're four up. And it's only this Death Star and this IS-7 defending that pass. But Captain Ash Storm is almost reloaded. He's ready to fire. He shoots. The round's out. And he stuns both of the enemy tanks defending that area. The Death Star and the IS-7 are both stunned. He's receiving stun assist. And the, the Death Star's gone down. The IS-7's down. It seems that those shots there where he actually stunned those tanks at that pass have actually turned the battle. They've enabled his teammates to actually uh, conquer the, the attack force. And he's now focusing his attention on this Object 907, trying to run away. He's almost reloaded. He's being chased by another 907, but the batch at T25 takes down the 907. So that just leaves the enemy artillery to deal with. And we haven't seen them all battle. So, up. Oh, they've been seen and the enemy conquer gun carriage is very close okay rounds out but unfortunately it's very close to that panzer 7 he hits the rock face thankfully otherwise he might have actually damaged his teammate and the bat chat 155 58 has been spotted behind the enemy cap and he's running away as quickly as he can but i doubt if he'll be able to get away because the bat chat 25t is after him and captain ash storm is almost loaded he's lining up the shots he can probably get it it's it's only got half itself but the bat chat takes him down before captain ash storm can fire so great battle let's have a look at the end of battle stats and it's a first class tanker for captain ash storm um, he only got one kill during the entire battle, but he certainly did a lot of damage. If we look at the uh, the figures, he did the uh, the most damage. He managed to score 3,765 hit points of damage. And I think that's where the battle was turned, because it actually uh, enabled the uh, defenders of that pass to, to hold their own against the attacking force. He only got one kill. Um, and his cap points earned, his XP was... Uh, base XP of 1050. Look at the details. He fired only nine shots. He got three direct hits. All were penetrations. And he got 22 splashes. <laughs> so most of his shots actually splash more than one vehicle at a time. Um, he did 3765 hit points of damage. All from greater than 300 meters. He damaged 10 vehicles and destroyed one. And he did uh, damage uh, to enemy vehicles stunned by him was 3,473. So you can see not only the damage that he did, but he enabled almost 3,500 damage as well from the stuns that he caused. And he caused 24 stuns in total. He has a premium account, so he earned 77,378 hit points, uh, uh, credits. Um, after deductions for ammunition, he took away 55,328 credits, which is a huge sum. And he received 1,575 uh, experience points. And because there was no multipliers, that was the sole amount that he took away. So well done, Captain Ash Storm. A nice demonstration of how the Conqueror gun carriage can be very effective at turning a battle. And you certainly did well in that one. If you like this battle, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. We get excellent battles like this all the time. And hopefully I will see you in the next replay. Thank you.